Welcome back to Live at 5 at 4. We love to bring you segments from our guests, uh, but they're joining us from their kitchen. Yes, and Joy McCabe, one of those, and she has a great recipe for grilling out. Today she's doing lamb chops with roasted potatoes. Hey everybody, you can see I'm not in my kitchen today. I'm actually at our pond house in South Georgia. It's just a little fun place, getaway place that we love coming to where my grandparents' farm used to be. And one of our favorite things to do here is to cook really good food. And one of our favorite dishes is lamb chops. And I'm gonna show you today how easy it is to grill these lamb chops. So here are the lamb chops, and you can see that they are, they're small, but they're thick, and uh, they have a bone in, so there's tons of great flavor. And it's just really simple. The way I flavor these and season them is with Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. You know if you've watched me before, you know I love to use Cavender's. So I just liberally sprinkle it on both sides. And that's all I do for seasoning. I'm gonna finish seasoning these and we'll get them on the grill. We're ready to put these um, lamb chops on the grill. But before I do that, I have a couple of things that, um, a, a little bit of advice for this lamb. First of all, it's gonna cook really quickly, like about three minutes on each side. And so you really need to have everything done, like your salad ready, the potatoes, or whatever you're serving with the lamb, have it ready to go. Because you're gonna to wanna to give the lamb your full attention. And I say that because you can easily overcook lamb if you're not careful. And it's not good after medium rare or medium. It really um, gets tough if it's cooked too much. So that's why you need to watch it and give your attention to the lamb. So I'm gonna put it on the grill. We're gonna give it, let it cook a couple of, um, about three minutes on each side. So these have already been cooking about three minutes. I'm gonna give them a turn. And um, you can see they have nice grill marks. A lot of sizzle going on. Smells really good with the seasoning. And I'm gonna cook these to medium rare, which will be 120 degrees internal temperature if you're using an instant read thermometer. Another thing I do sometimes, I will um, actually cut into a lamb chop just to see how the cooking's going. I just wanna be really careful not to overcook these. These are coming off the grill. We're gonna be ready to serve. I'm going to cover them with foil just so that the um, juices can distribute. And um, I'm gonna show you how we serve it up. So our lamb is ready and I like to show you how I'm gonna serve it. I usually plan on three lamb chops per person, and then I've made some rosemary roasted potatoes to go with it, a simple tomato salad with um, basil, feta cheese, a nice vinaigrette, a little bit of onion, and um, these recipes can be found on my website, joymccabe.com, that's J-O-Y-M-C-C-A-B-E.com, or you can find them on WBIR.com too. And I will include the potato recipe and the tomato salad recipe, so you'll have the whole meal there on the website. This is a great dish, something you might want to try, and I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks, everybody. Okay, I'm so excited to see the video. She taped that at their lake house. I think it's in Georgia. She always talks about this. It's one of their favorite retreats. Georgia. Yeah. How beautiful is that? Right yeah, in the water? Nice. Oh my gosh, what a, a nice escape. But we certainly appreciate her thinking of us and bringing those lamb chops. Too bad they're not in studio. You go to that place and you get all Joy's food too. Yeah, added bonus for sure. Right.